okay, I'm filing the ends of my um, piston rings with this cheap grinder. It works okay. And uh, I keep checking periodically with the gap because I don't want to overshoot. I'm looking for 26 uh, thousandths. So, and then after I file it, grind it, and file it, whatever, I'm always grinding on one side on the right. I'm just using the right-hand side to be consistent so that I leave the factory grind on the left and I also numbered them. You can see uh, it's cylinder number seven and I put a T because that's the top ring. And also, uh, after I file it, I wipe a paper towel across the end of the side that I grind. And let me see if I can zoom in a little closer here. You can see the, the fibers there that, that are catching. Uh, that's the burr. You need to file that off because that will the burr on the outside. There shouldn't be much on the outside because you're grinding. You turn the wheel so that it, it comes against uh, you know, towards the center because you want the burr on the inside. But it's also creating a burr on the top of the ring. I need to file that off also. So just something to check for. Yeah, I figured I'll catch it right on there. I can. So that needs to come off. There's a couple little pointers that uh, I've noticed. This is the first time I've done this. I've, I've watched a hundred videos, but doing it yourself is a lot different. So um, I'm filing from one side of the ring. I know some places say file on both sides, but most of them said file from one side. So I'm pushing here with my hand. I'm pushing that way. So I've noticed uh, when you're doing that, and I, I keep a finger right here so that because it, it's going to tend to pop up as I'm as I'm rotating this this way. It'll always fall towards you. But I've noticed uh, if you get the pressure wrong, you can uh, let's see if you can see what happens here. So I'm pushing. You can see the ring will. I'm still against the pins, but see the ring will. It does. I can push it to the left, and still stay against those pins. And what happens is you'll file more from the inside of the ring than the outside. See how it's cocking like that? I'm, I'm kind of exaggerating it. But you'll notice that because when you measure the gap, your feel gauge will slip in halfway and then stop. So that means you have a taper filed. So just be aware of that when you're pushing against there. That um, And also don't tilt this way because then you're going to file more on the outside. And also what I did, I don't know if you can see it, let me zoom in there. I put a very fine little sharpie mark on the right end of that ring. So that way when I'm grinding down, because when I first put the rings in, these are filed to fit, they touch. So I need to take off at least 25,000. So I just put a very fine little sharpie mark on there so when I'm grinding away, I can tell I'm not taking off too much. If I took off that whole mark, I need to measure again. So I just grind and measure, grind, measure. And, and the closer I get to my, my 26 thousandths, I only do a few turns on there because I don't want to overshoot it. Hope that helps.